Team Gameplay Spotlight that has named a new Team Sonic Racing trailer that Sega released today. What do we learn from it? We'll find out right now. Hello beautiful people, my name is RidersDX and welcome to my channel where I cover all sorts of things Sonic and Spongebob related. So I was looking forward to a nice relaxing day with nothing to do and just catch up on like some TV shows that I miss and then BOOM! Sega releases a new Team Sonic Racing trailer and you know what, we get to learn some new things so I'm excited but then I realize I need to make a video about this. So <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world, like I'm excited to finally get some new news because it feels like a hot second since we got some news on Team Sonic Racing. So let's dive right into it. But before we get anywhere, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these and you want to see more in the future. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter at RidersDX if you want to talk about this with me outside of YouTube. If you want to check out my last video on Team Sonic Racing where I talked about the comic book, then go ahead and click on the link in the top right corner above. But yeah, let's take a look at this new trailer and see what we learned from it. So to start off, there's obviously some team moves that this trailer spotlighted. So I'm going to cover those really quickly and then I'm going to tell you all five different things that you might have missed from the trailer. So make sure you watch to the very end to see what the five things I saw in the trailer were because I am guarantee you missed it. Well, unless you have a really keen eye, but I'm thinking most of you have average eyes. So yeah, this sentence is really awkward. I'm going to stop. Awkward? Awkward. First we got Skin Boost, and Skin Boost says speed past struggling teammates and get them back in the race. So I was looking at this, I don't know if I understand completely how this works, but basically if you go past a teammate in the race, then they're gonna get like a quick boost, it's looking like. Because I saw Tails go past Sonic, and Sonic suddenly got this like ring appear around him, and then a boost. So I'm thinking that's how it works, but... If it actually works differently, then let me know in the comment section below because this was the only one I was kind of confused about. Next up we got Slingshot, which I actually covered in my previous video on the gameplay of Team Sonic Racing. If you check out the link in the top right corner, that was my first video on gameplay analysis of Team Sonic Racing. But Slingshot is basically where you draft behind a teammate Slipstream for a boost. So Slipstream is kind of like the turbulence from um, Sonic Riders, except it's exclusive to your teammates, so it's a little less... It's a little harder to um, take advantage of this like you were able to in the Riders games. And then we got something new over here and it's called Rival Takedown, which is where you knock out highlighted opponents ahead and speed past them. So I was like, ooh, interesting move. But then I was looking at the gameplay and it actually turns out it's a Wisp power up. It's the rocket one. So when you use the rocket Wisp, it um, acts as a projectile and shoots towards um, an opponent that's in front of you. So it's basically just a power up. It's just a little bit interesting that they like um, introduce this power as like something separate from the Wisp powers. But I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I just thought it was a little confusing at first because I thought it was a completely different new thing. But then I noticed that the player had the Rocket Wisp. So I was like, oh, this is the Rocket Wisp power up. It's just weird that they highlighted this one and not the other ones. Item box transfer. I think the title speaks for itself. Send and receive wisps with teammates anywhere on this track. So basically, if you got an item, or if you're in like first place, for example, and you don't need an item, go ahead and send it to your teammates so that they can get a little bit more ahead in the race. So this is a really cool feature actually because I know when I'm playing like an easier difficulty with friends, I can tend to be like in first place sometimes for a while, and I have all these items that I don't really need. So this would be a really cool idea to um, get your teammates up ahead with you if they're not as good at the game because the power ups will definitely help them and I mean that's a point of this game right like this game is obviously about teamwork so teamwork good okay then let's get ready to do this we'll show that creep the real superpower of teamwork 
And of course, we got the one that we all already know about, Team Ultimate. Use team mechanics to fill your Team Ultimate meter and unleash a massive team boost. So yeah, it's basically the equivalent of the Sega Superstar power up in the Sega All-Stars racing games. So yeah, not much to explain here. It's just really cool to um, be able to get a boost for all three of your teammates um, when you fill up the power meter. One thing I am going to be curious about though is um, how exactly they're going to fill up the ultimate meter. Like maybe it's from like using power ups that uh, were mentioned in this trailer because I'm not really sure how they're going to fill up the meter. Maybe collecting rings, attacking people, maybe just a good mix of everything probably. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, now that we got the obvious things out of the way, I'm going to talk about some little details that I noticed in this trailer because um, these are the things that people won't immediately notice so I made sure to watch the trailer as closely as I could and these are the things that I found interesting that you might have missed upon your first or second watch of the trailer. First I want to talk about the ice track and basically the first three things I have on my list are considering the ice track. So the first thing I want to talk about is that apparently there's like billion ships that are seen like I don't know if they're flying around, they might be buildings also, but like I see like some kind of like alien like shaped structure uh, throughout the ice track. So this leads me to believe that this is not an old level, like obviously Cool Edge didn't have anything like this and Ice Cap didn't have anything like this either. So I'm thinking this is like a brand new level actually because some of the structures in the track are very different. Unless there's like a level in the Sonic series that I'm forgetting about, this doesn't look like anything I've seen before in the Sonic game, which is really cool actually. I'm glad that they made like something original although it's not like the most original one because we've had ice levels before but it looks a little bit different so I'm appreciating that I also saw that there's some construction going on which reminds me of like the planet wisp level in Sonic colors in Sonic generations which is and it's already a level in team Sonic racing so I'm kind of theorizing that maybe this game actually takes place on the wisp planet because um you know we've got the wisp um, Planet Wisp as one of the tracks already confirmed in the game and plus you got this one where there's like construction sites and um, also alien like ships and also if you took a look at my last Team Sonic Racing video where I talked about the comic the comic said that the Sonic and his friends were transported to a different planet and that's where they were racing so I'm thinking maybe this planet is Planet Wisp itself or maybe it's a planet that's really closely associated with the Wisps that's what I'm thinking right now. So it's a really cool um, concept, you know? At least there's a reason for the Wisps now if they do confirm that this is gonna be taking place on Planet Wisp because now the Wisps aren't random and it would be a really cool way to use them actually. I know some people are kind of sick of the Wisps so I know this opinion's gonna be a little bit polarizing but I think it'd be a really cool thing to um, revisit them again because I'd rather they be revisited like this instead of just being shoehorned into any games. <coughs> Sonic Forces. And before we um, get off the topic of the ice track, you, I also noticed that um, some parts of the level had orange colored skies instead of the blue colored skies that you all were probably expecting. And then there was actually one shot within the trailer where you could see both the orange and blue sky at the same time. So that's interesting also. So this just confirms, well, it doesn't confirm, but makes me um, think even more that this is taking place on a different planet from where Sonic and his friends are coming from. So that's interesting. Okay, fourth thing on my list is um, Knuckles' voice. Okay, y'all, listen to some of these clips that I collected from the trailer of Knuckles' voice. Just take a listen and see. Awesome boots, thanks! Doesn't he sound weird? I mean, he sounds really off to me. I don't know about you all, but he sounds really off. Like, if you listen to, like, um, how he was voiced in Sonic Forces, for example, it sounds very different from how he sounds now. So, I'm starting to wonder if maybe they would have... If maybe they switched Knuckles' voice actor for this game. I mean, it'd be surprising, but these things do happen. So, maybe there was some kind of dispute with the previous actor, and now we've got a new voice actor for Knuckles, which... I absolutely don't like. This makes Knuckles sound like a complete doofus. I'm sorry. Like, it's he sounds like one of those guys you see at the gym who like who like shout whenever they lift like five pounds. Like it's um it's not a good voice actor for Knuckles because he's already looked at as a doofus, and when you have a voice actor that sounds so goofy like this, you know, it's almost like a it almost sounds like big in a way. And you know what? 
Knuckles is my favorite character in the Sonic series. I don't want to see him voiced by an actor like this because it just doesn't suit him. He's already not taken seriously in the series, you know, with the memes and with the way he's been portrayed in three previous games. Like if you all saw the video I uploaded earlier today, it was my playthrough of the first part of his story in Sonic Adventure DX and in that game he's fooled really easily by Eggman over something really silly. So he doesn't really have the best reputation within the series and giving him a voice actor like this is something I'm not happy about personally. But I'm back to my list, I got one more thing for y'all. So take a look at this screenshot. Um, if y'all didn't know before, there's a lot of different balloons within both tracks that we've seen so far um, floating around in the game. And that's kind of, I'm thinking, to create that atmosphere of a Grand Prix. And so we've seen like the balloons of Sonic's face, but we've also seen some shadow balloons. And in this one, you notice that the quills on Shadow's balloon are down. So he looks like Sonic a lot more than he usually does. So <laughs> in this case, like Shadow really does look like a recolor of Sonic because um, his quotes are down. So it really just looks like Sonic painted in black with red stripes. And I, I just found this to be really funny. It's nothing really that significant, but I just found it to be really funny. Although I did notice in another part of the trailer, the same balloon, but his quills are indeed up. So I'm wondering if that's just something that developers missed while they were developing the game. It's not really a big deal, but I just thought it was a nice little Easter egg, you know, cause Shadow is very much known as like the exact replica of Sonic. This is really just icing on the cake. Okay, y'all, that's five things on my list. But before we go, I actually want to mention a surprise sixth thing on my list. Um, this doesn't really count for the list. That's why I put it last because it's really not that significant. But when we were shown gameplay of Big, he said, this is fine at one point in the dialogue box. And <laughs> I just found this to be really funny. I find it really funny that Big of all people would just say, this is fine. I mean, if y'all have seen that meme where like that dog is sitting in like a burning house and then he's like, this is fine. Just imagine Vic saying, this is fine. It's just something I find really funny for some reason. So yeah, I'm very fine with Vic saying, this is fine. <laughs> Okay, now that is the true ending of my list. So that's everything I have to say about this new trailer for Team Sonic Racing. I'm sorry that this video is so long. I just, I decided to just really watch intensely what was being talked about in the video. And I just decided to go with it and just tell you all as much as I could about the video. But if there was something that I missed that you saw in the video, then please let me know in the comment section below so we can have a really good discussion about this because I'd be curious to see what else we could dissect and analyze from this little video. Even though it's only a minute and 25 seconds, there's so much we could talk about. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these and you want to see more in the future. Go ahead and follow me at Twitter at RidersDX to talk about this game with me outside of YouTube. And yeah, that is everything. Thank you all so much for watching. RidersDX is out. Back to my off day. Bye-bye. <laughs>